Ho ho, me hotties! A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and here we are with part two of our Friday night phone in. So it's three minutes past 11 o'clock, and uh, we'll go on and see as long as you want to. So there we are. I thought we'd pop back. There's cool, says Dave Deprave. Well done, Dave Deprave. Is it easy to find me second time round, Dave? If you've just joined us on the TikTok, of course, a very, very warm welcome to you. Always lovely to have the TikTokers with us. Fantastic stuff. And did you do, I say to you. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Welcome, welcome back. Good stuff. There's Jim Cook saying hi. Hi, Jim. Excellent stuff. Um, is it easy to see me coming back? Did everybody manage to find it? No problem at all. Very, very important. And we should be live across YouTube. Live across um, LinkedIn. We should be live on Facebook Live. And, of course, Scotty underscore McClue. Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Thanks for doing the phone in. Not at all, Jim. No problem at all. Hi, Scotty, with you on YouTube now. Dave Duprave, thank you very much. Have the um, the followers and the subscribers on YouTube gone up, Dave? What's it sitting at at the moment? Because we need to get these numbers up big style. Everybody should be subscribing. You're back, Scotty. Brilliant stuff. La Hoob, of course. Scotty, long time no see. Where have you been? Well, Ross, we've been live for the last hour on TikTok. So it's lovely to have you back. Dinky do, I say. Hello again. Hello, Ebri. Yes, it was easily found, says Jim. Good, Jim. It just pops up again. Fantastic. No problems. Alerted. Good one, Dave. We like that. <coughs> Excellent. And I got a wee, a wee glass of water, you see. Mm. Now then, feel free to get to the fun ends. Let's, uh, let's sort that out and see that everybody's sorted. They are wonderful stuff, yes. You can go on the phones and um, you'll see the number in front of you there. Oh, just have to pop round, pop my head round the corner of all the TikTokers. Scapa Flow Texas Consulting. Good evening. What would you recommend a Sassnach does in Edinburgh? Just go to your bed. No, not at all, not at all. Uh, enjoy the ambience, I would say. Dinky do from Stu. Lovely to have you with us. Is it a cold night in Edinburgh? Is it a warm night? Is it bucketing wet? Do tell us. There we are. Dinky do. Now, tonight we've been discussing, is the earth round or flat? Very, very interesting discussion, guys. I can tell you. So do tell us what you think about that. Is the earth round or is the earth flat? We are back. We're back, Numpty Heed. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. So there we are, cool, excellent stuff. Hi, everybody. Somebody want to try out the phones and check if they're working? The telephone number, this is for Numpty, his benefit, is 0141-628-9795. 0141-628-9795. I'm sure I've got some notes on it round about here. So there we are. And maybe we'll get a tune on the squeeze box if you're good. Got you on Facebook, but not live yet on YouTube. Why are we not live on YouTube? Can everybody go to YouTube? Can't see you on YouTube, so joining you on Twitch. Mazad, thank you very, very much for that. We should actually be live on YouTube. How very strange. So there we are. We're not on YouTube. Yes, I find that very, very strange. Now, I don't know if I... I think if I go and renew everything, we'll probably lose you all again, wouldn't we? There we are. It would look a bit, uh, yes, it would look a bit odd if we did that. I wonder why we're not live on YouTube. There we go. Uh, the Earth curves about eight inches per mile, different or where you're observing it. I'm on YouTube. D, have you got it on YouTube? Is it nice and clear, D? There, uh, guys, got you on YouTube now, says Neil O'Gormley. Excellent. We're all out in Edinburgh looking for Ken, you Ken. Ken Jordan, I, I absolutely Ken. Scotty, I need to get a Thropney jotter with knee batter and a pen to write down that number. Always have that handy in your Thropney jotter with knee batter beside your telephones. Never, ever be without the number to contact Scotty McClue on the internet phone in. There we are. Dinky-doo, Sarah. Thank you very much. That is absolutely excellent. 
There we go. Thank you very much, Lahoop. Uh, wonderful. We like this. We're all live on YouTube. Yeah, we're live on YouTube. Got you now, Scotty. Thanks, Mazod. Marvellous. But do feel free to watch us on Twitch. Right off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty McClue's phone in. Who's that? Oh, he's gone. Somebody testing the phones. Good. Well done. Thank you. All clear on YouTube. Got us. That was a bit of a relief. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Welcome to all our lovely, lovely TikTokers around the globe who are watching. I thank you for all your kindnesses. Thank you for your TikToks, for your Diamond Kings, for all your lovely, lovely gifts. How do I phone in? You're more. You go on to the YouTube channel. If you look on, if you're on TikTok right now, look at my TikTok bio. Right, you'll see it right in front of you. If you go low there, you'll see the YouTube live link. Uh, subscribe to YouTube and tap the bell and join us on the phone in. That's what it's about. Got you now, Scotty. Everybody happy? Yes. All clear on YouTube. Woo! Bit of a worry there. I didn't want to go and change everything. That's what it is. Now, TikTokers, if you can all follow me on TikTok, very, very important. There's beautiful TikTok videos uploaded for you to explain everything. And uh, if you're on the phone in, get sharing and sharing. James Gibbs says, well done for coming back on, Sir Tickabar. I thank you, James. Lovely to be with you all. I mean, I know an hour is not enough, but um, it's, it's quite a lot for a lot of people um, because folk are just so busy. But I think as the winter comes in, you know, people, if they find something they like on the media, they think, let's just stay with this. If you don't understand maths, physics, or geometry, you may think the Earth is flat indeed. Yes, but Dave Deprave, you're not telling me that flat Earth people don't understand maths, physics, or geometry. You know, it's very, very interesting. Do you know what a cocked hat is in geometric terms, Dave? Navigation terms. Wonderful stuff. I wonder why YouTube took a wee while to come back on there. That's very interesting. There we are. Can you say hello to my mother, Steph, from Dundee? She's a big fan, says Luke Hardy. I can indeed. Roban Henderson. Sounds like boz. Moz? Pause? Something like that. There we go. Does it cost to phone in? Um, I think, Rachel, it would be um, a local rate uh, for Glasgow, and then it would probably be a national rate for out with Glasgow. But you'll get answered very quickly. So, you know, and you don't have to stay on very long. So there you go. No problem at all. Um, Scotty, I need to get... Yes, we've got that. I've got the tea on. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Shout out to Uncle La. It says, birthday today. Okay, Roban, I will do that. So there you are. So, Rachel, yes, there will be, I would imagine, a cost. But most people have it all inclusive in their phone nowadays anyway. The number is effectively a Glasgow number, 0141. But don't let that stop you phoning in for a wee chat. Tremendous stuff. Now then, hello, Scotty Dinky Doo, Scotty Dinky Doo, Stephen. Lovely to have you all back with me on the TikTok. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're right in the middle of the most fantastic experiment on the internet at the moment. You're part of the internet phone in. And uh, it is live on YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And will probably be appearing on more channels as we get the pennies together. Uh, it's absolutely free to watch Scotty McClure, but I have appealed for a piece of equipment to 100 angels at £7.50. And you can go to the GoFundMe or the PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Oh, what's happening, bro? Who's that, bro? It's Michael, bro. What's happening? Michael, bro. Dinky do. What's happening with you, bro? Dinky do. What's chilling, bro? What's kicking? What's, what's kicking about? What's pure happening, bro? Spill. Well, not much, bro. What's happening? Well, I'm telling you, bro. What is happening? I think you need to spill, bro. Fantastic. There we go. To the telephones as quickly as possible. 
Halim Rig, that's it. Jordan Palmer, top man. It was Lime Rig. That's what it's about. Flat Earth's impossible, even the argument against it's ludicrous. Very interesting, though. All Flat Earthers and Moon Conspirators are culture wreckers. Well, Dave Dupree, if you don't know that, you see? So there we go. Do give us a call if you want. There we are. The costs will be local to Glasgow and the west of Scotland. And, of course, I don't think it'll cost you very much at all because most people have a deal on their phones of unlimited calls. There we are. Fantastic. That's what it's about. There's no special high rate or anything like that. We're not trying to make pennies out of the calls or anything like that at all. Scotty McClue will always play fair with you. I say, dinky do. And if you ever want to give me anything, then the onus will be on you to do that. You will never be asked for anything. This is free. I give of my time for free because I believe in communications. Peter Wood, evening, Scotty. Just in from playing a wee accordion and fiddle concert. I hope you're well. Peter Wood, you have no idea the respect I have for you. I love your stuff. Fantastic. And everybody in the accordion world knows you. I am, of course, no great shakes as a player, but I do love the instrument. And we had the wonderful Steve Clink scale on last night for a chat. So excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us, Peter. Fantastic. Well done, Jordan, says D. Yes, indeed. You're quite right. Um, now, what have we got here? Uh, we are on YouTube. Yes, indeed. That's excellent. I'm still in the bath, says Kareem, at seven minutes past 11. How amazing is that? Did you do? Wait, you're a boot man, says Xander. Xander man, we're a boot Scotty McClue. Yes, the first lord of the internet. We discuss everything on here. So there we go. Fantastic. Uh, now, everybody quite happy with all the reception? A wee tune in your squeeze box, sir, says it's James Gibb. So there we are. Uh, right, I'll give you a tune in the squeeze box because you haven't had a tune in the squeeze box for far too long. So I will give you a wee tune because I'd like Peter to see my wee box Peter, there's my wee box, so what do you think? There we are, a wee honour, a wee honour black dot. <laughs> I'll give you a wee tune on it and you can tell, tell me what you think. Fantastic. Yeah, I love it, says D. Bro, round of applause for you. Fantastic. What do we got here? Peter says, Jocko Hazeldean. Absolutely, Peter. Just the job. I feel very, very humbled, guys, because Peter Wood has joined us, and Peter is one of the finest accordionists in the country. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, hello, how are you getting on? Hello, how are you getting on? Who's that? Oh, this is Ali. Ali, lovely Ali. to have you Ali with us. Ali from Allness. Ali from Allness. I know Allness very well. He used to go for holidays at Kildare. Oh, 
Ireland, you poor thing. Loved it. And Milton. Have you, not, have you been back recently? Not for a while, no, no. And Milton, and also uh, the castle, the famous castle that was bought by oh. the, the rich gentleman. I'll fire it. That'll be him, Mark. Yes, that's it. I mind the castle as well. That's right. I've actually got a property in Milton on Old Mill Road. Wonderful. I loved Milton. Very, very nice. I was just wondering, would I be able to get a shout-out for uh, a good friend of mine? Of course you can. It's uh, for Robert Anderson. Robert, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. He recently picked up a new uh, telehandler forklift today. He's, he's worked very hard for this. I just, uh, I think he just deserves a wee shout out. We love it. He's Give him a shout out. And I'm very humbled. I love your part of the world. It's so beautiful. Well, you're welcome here. I'll grab you a pint if you're ever here again. Wonderful. We'll go up to Invergordon and see where the Natal was. Oh, that's 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 a long time ago. That. <laughs> Brings up bad memories, however. <laughs> Absolutely. Was it not in for God and the mutiny happened? Oh, I don't know. I only moved here in 2001. Fantastic. But you're a local man. I can tell by your accent. Ah, uh, hi. This, uh, so we're, we're from the area. We've we arranged to Ding, between Dingwall and Tain, you know. A ding, the, the Dingwalls and the Tain. I love them both. Oh, they're, they're good parts of the world. I used to know, go to the sale Tain, room in uh, Tain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yes, loved it. Oh, what a place, sir! I'm and surprised I've not seen you in the pub. And the and the and the, 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 the there was a there was a lovely wee pub in Milton, if I remember. Oh, I couldn't tell you. This was a wee shop now, but yes, it's yes. Down now, it's it's away with it's away. Yes, with and the, the and the big square mill house. Oh yes, that's still there. That's still there. That went under a full refurbishment not long ago. Oh, bit. wonderful, wonderful! That was a great place, you know, and and all that. I've stayed there. Oh, you, uh, so what brought you here? Oh well, well, I had friends from there, from Kildare. Uh huh. Yes, and Allness, and uh, uh, and okay. once you got up there, you really didn't want to go anywhere else. You were fine. Oh. I know it's, it's it's when you leave you realise what you've actually got at home. I thought I could just stay here fine, well, and everybody was great. Down. I loved the accent. I tell you, I want a word with you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, and everybody seemed to have black Labradors. I've got one myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you went into the house, there was a black Labrador sleeping in the best chair. Down in my kitchen just now. <laughs> How lovely to hear from you and a big dinky do. Right, big dinky do to you. Dinky do and love to Russia. And uh, what was the castle called again? Was it Craig Rowan or something? Yes, I'm just trying to think. Something like that. Fantastic. <clears throat> now there we go. Uh, wonderful stuff. Brilliant box playing. Thank you very much. Uh, you're not just an athlete. No, James, I'm not just an athlete. I'm a black belt in karaoke, I'll have you know. Lovely tune, says the wonderful Susan Forrest. Susan's down in Lancashire. Twelve men of teen make glorious nectar. Mario Dono, what are you like? <coughs> How amazing is that? Dinky doo, Sir Scotty McClue, how do you do? Scotty, are you Aberdonian? No, I'm not an Aberdonian at all, fit like the Ken, but uh, I sound a bit uh, as if if Aberdeen. Fit about that, as it's not bra. There we are. Dinky doo, Scotty McClue, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very nice to have you with us live. And we are live on the TikTok, we're live on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell. We need to start building the phone in. There we go. Uh, it was lovely. Love the accent. Beautiful accent, D, isn't it? Lovely part of the world. You would adore it out there. Yes, the guy had such a neat accent. He did, didn't he? Yes, sort of almost perfect. See, that part of the world, they speak perfect English. Inverness is where the best English is spoken. Fantastic. Love the Aberdonian accent. I fit like that's going to make the Doric. That's what it's likely. Wonderful. Just out a bit of giri. Uh, nay, bad man, fools yourself. Ah, fools your dues. I just chaffing a wah on the, on the internet. Top of the morning to you. Not far from Dunrobin. You're right, Andy Pandy. You're not that far. Uh, 
I would say Goldsby's nearer Dunrobin. Beautiful, beautiful castle there, actually. Fairy tale castle. Beautiful. Scotty, I think I've mastered your tune that you play on Mammouthy. Can I call you in with my second call to play it without infringing copyright? I don't think you've got a problem with that one. Is there any accent you can't do, says Jordan? That's very, very kind of you, Jordan. Yes, indeed. To say my clue is an accent, man. Fantastic. Teens are great wee tune, says James. Furry boots are you fae, says Murray O'Donnell. Murray, Ken. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm fae the giri, o chapel a giri, Ken. Just o tat can away. And, uh, you know, no too far fae the back of Benachy. The Benachy Baileys. Ah, lovely stuff. Beautiful, thank you. Now, uh, come and join us, folks. Lots and lots to talk about. So little time to date in. What do you call it when a snowman throws a tantrum? Says Beachy Beachy. A melt doon. We love that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is there still a petroleum crisis in England? I think just they were too greedy. I think if they'd gone in, you see, when I go in for fuel, I say I'll just put in 20 pounds worth. And that kind of does me for the week, you know, that sort of idea. Depending on where I'm going. Scotty, you need to get Dune Buchanan Street with that squeeze box. You'll make a fortune. Peter and Mac, thank you very much. You're very, very kind. I'm glad you liked it. I was obviously under the cosh because the wonderful Peter Wood, who is one of the country's top accordion players, was listening and watching. There we go. Amazing stuff. 12% of the stations in London are dry. I was lucky to get home last week. Andy, Andy, there's no crisis in Scotland, but then you see we're not so greedy. What I was suggesting last night was that we let the person behind us go first, just as a gesture, or we offer that. We say, excuse me, would you like to go first at the pump so there's no greed in Scotland? There we are, fantastic. Scotty, do you know Fraser Burra? I, Jerry, I can and uh, Peter Heed, Peter Heed and I. That's what it's about. Fantastic. I love it, Doric. <laughs> I don't know. There'll be Aberdonians watching saying, that's a lot of nonsense. That's not how we speak. Hello, I'm watching from the Philippines. We love you in the Philippines. Top man, Big Archie would be proud. Big Archie would love that, actually, but he was a terrific musician. Big Archie, folks, was my father, my late father. And I think I've got a photo of him somewhere. I'll get it to you. At some point. Uh, I just try, Scotty. You've got it mastered. The Black Dot King. <laughs> Peter, you are so kind. That is so very good of you. We need to get a wee reel going. That's my next one. Uh, Peter, I'll tell you what. I don't know if you're a button key man as well as a piano. Uh, but it's a nightmare going back to the piano after the button key. If you just try to transfer from one to the other. It's just such a different technique. You know, I didn't know, I didn't think, I, I'm a kind of autodidact, I taught myself that one, Peter. So there we have it. Now, uh, what else is happening? I do have a nice piano accordion, but it's, I think it's Danish or Norwegian, and it will be about maybe 70 years old. I did take a picture of it and show it to Steve Klinkscale. And he said, all oh, right, I think we can maybe get you something else. <laughs> no, I can't play buttons. Ah, interesting, Peter, because, uh, you know, our dear friend, the late James Shand, Jimmy, was a button key man. And uh, somebody once came to Jimmy's dressing room. He, he was perhaps the most honest man, a man of huge integrity. And this guy appeared at his dressing room and accused him, accused him, wait for it, Peter, of mining. He said because he never saw the bellows move. So Jimmy, very forward-thinking top man system, sit yourself down and watch this. And he showed him economy of the bellows. Amazing. Great wee holidays at Granny Zealand, him, in near Donach. Beautiful part of Scotland, Murray O'Donnell Donach is absolutely gorgeous. Do you remember they had a great minister at Donagh Cathedral 
James Simpson, I think was his name. I think he might have been the moderator. Uh, great wee holidays, fantastic. Scotty, your phone's ringing out. Numpty head, are you giving me nonsense? Let's get the phones going. Right, Numpty head, try the phone and let me know if you can get through on that. That should be ringing big style. Yes, very important. I maybe move the TikTokers along a wee bit just till I sort out the phones uh, and see if I can get that going. Right, try it now, Numpty Head. See what's happening with us. We're waiting. We're awaiting your call. Love this geezer, says Jude. Ah, there you go. There you go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, I'm I've got you now, eh? Ah, you've got us to Now, listen, we've got some amazing people on this phone in. There's Peter Wood from Shetland. Aye. Is that not just Marvel. wonderful? I said, I'm going to play that tune that you play then. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. Right, go on. Go on then. Da -da. On you go. <laughs> Well, that was very good. We had quite a few tunes in there. I think we had taps. We had, we had amazing grace. We had, we had all that. Yes, I think we. I think that's what you would call a three in one. Now, Scotty, I tell you before, uh, I first picked up the Mister Gun thirty years ago. Fantastic! And when did you put it down? I lost it. I lost it twenty nine years ago. It disappeared. <laughs> So, the first time I picked one up in a long time. Well, that was very, very good, Numpty Head. Well done. We'll give you the clap. And at least it's no copyright infringing. Well, no, it's no infringement at all. We'll give you the clap, son. There we are. Fantastic. Now, uh, who have we got here? Uh, I've done Falkirk to Malig train, went through Glenfinnan and over the viaduct. Beautiful, Andy Pandy. Fantastic stuff. Top man, that Murray. Yes, Murray is a top man, Chris. An absolute top man. We love all these beautiful people on here. Not just a pretty face, Prof, says Suzanne. I had to put it down 28 years ago. Beautiful place, me, Dave. Been a few times. I named my daughter Sky, says D. Isn't that lovely? <coughs> oh, we missed that one, right? There we are. Give us another call, guys. Hang on. Don't panic. Just give us a call and hang on. It's always good for you. Right. To the telephones, I say. We had a medley of songs in one call. We did, Dave. Yes, there was a wee medley. But I don't think the medley was intentional. There we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Can you hear us? They don't know if they're at Wimsby or Bombay, poor souls. Unable to say hello. You're still on, friend, Suzanne, I see. Yes, indeed. Here we go. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? There they are. They're panicking. I think their bottle goes once they've rung in, poor things. There we are. Not uh, just a pretty face. That's what we say about the prof. Uh, I love your smile, Simran. You are so very, very kind. I thank you for joining us. Guys, if you're watching on TikTok, feel free to go to the YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell. You'll see the URL just below my TikTok bio. And there's a live link there. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? There we are. Poor souls, ringing up and panicking. Maybe the phone's not working. Scotty, I've put the kettle on just now. Excellent stuff. We could all do with a wee cuppy of tea. See, they get stage fright from your celeb status. No, Andy Pandy. There we are. Now, what have we got here? Poppy sock. I think we'll just get rid of you because that's just daft. There we are. You're just a half-wit. Poppy socks, the half-wit, has gone doing the swanny. 
There we go. Wonderful. That's lovely stuff. If that's the very best you can do, Poppy Socks, then you're definitely on the wrong thing. So there we go. Have you ever done panto, Scotty? Yes, I have, Murray. And I might go back to it someday. I think I'd make quite a good dame. What do you think? Where is that, Jack? You live at Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello? Oh, they panic. They panic. He's a panicker, poor thing. Can he speak when they get on? <laughs> Never mind. We'll keep going until we'll encourage you because that's what it's all about, I say. Now, guys, that's us. Been up for another half hour. There we go. Wonderful to have you all with us. Dinky doo. Do you want to hear a funny joke? Well, Christopher, I don't know. Is it funny? Poddlepot says, what's happening this fine day? Everything is happening. Scotty McClure is live on the internet phone in. And we're also live on TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook Live, and Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Too late for the coffee. Dame McClue would be fantastic. Would you like that, Jordan? Where is that Jack? I sent him away with a coup to market. Have you seen him, boys and girls? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Hello, some dafty. There we are. Give us a ring, guys, if you're coming on. Stay on. Uh, Dean McClue, yes, absolutely, on the panto. Oh, no, it wouldn't. Aye, aye, Scotty, dinky do. Smokey and the Bandit has just joined us on TikTok. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, guys. This is amazing. Peter Mac, what are you giving us? I only drink coffee when I'm out, never in the house. Why is that, Suzanne? I like the smell of coffee, but I have, actually haven't had a coffee for 41 years. The good old, oh yes, lovely stuff. I thank you for that. Did you do? Let's see who this is. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Can you get off? You're so... There we are. No, you get off. I'm staying on. It's my show. There we are, dinky do. How long have you been live tonight, Scotty? Uh, Chin, we've been about um, an hour and a half. So there we are, an hour and a half live tonight. I thought that was rather good fun. Fantastic. Now, there's a half-witted idiot ringing and saying to me, can you get off? He gets this for free. It's costing him nothing. And he phones up to say something like that. What kind of halfwit? What would we guess his IQ is? Could it be as high as two? Or is it more likely to be one? There we are. Amazing. Hello, Scotty. Very good. Absolutely. For your information, Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. We love it. Dinky do. Andy Pandy. Thank you for sending me these lovely, lovely TikToks. You're very kind. Let's see this one. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Murray. Murray, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Murray, I can't thank you enough for your kindness. Oh, not at all. No, it's so but good of you. We need to start a petition to get you back into the panto. Back the pant, Dean McClure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you an, an absolute big darling with these big rosy cheeks. Get yeah, the big rosy cheeks and the big striped stockings and the bustle. <laughs> and get right down front of stage and say, has anybody seen Jack, boys and girls? <laughs> I once got a call, Murray, and somebody said, could you phone? It was a big theatre. It was a very important art centre in the country. It was in England. And they said, Scotty, would you mind giving them a call? They've got a problem because somebody's taken ill in the panto and um, they need somebody to step in. And I thought of you. I said, well, I'll give them a call. So I phoned her. I says, hello, it's Scotty McClure. They said, is it really? Are you, are you having a laugh with it? I said, no, no, it's Scotty McClure. I said, I believe you're, you're, you've got a wee problem. Oh, we have. Yes, poor so-and-so had to go off. So I said, well... Um, I said, just to say that I'm around if you if if you want me. And I said, what is the part? She says, it's one of the ugly sisters. I said, oh, I'm halfway there already. <laughs> well, you could give them a wee tune in your box as well. And we could give them a wee tune in the box, yes. Boys and girls, we'll wait till Idle Jack gets back. 
Yes, we need to start a, a movement to get you back on the, the big stage. And we could get the Clute Dune Murray. <laughs> we could we could and split the audience in two halves. Your half and my half to see who's the best singers. Oh, look, absolutely, aye. Granny's with the knee teeth and the... <laughs> all the rest of it, you know? Uh, Give it all that nonsense. So where did you perform? What, what city? Um, well, that one, I didn't actually do it, to be honest with you, because they said, no, that I think the director's going to go on tonight till we find out how the ugly sister is. But I used to love these. I loved the likes of Ricky and Jack um, when, when, when they did lines like, if it was Cinderella, you know, um, one of the ugly sisters would say to the other one, do you think I'll be safe going out dressed like this? You, you'd be safe in the Mary Hill barracks. <laughs> and the other line was, uh, do you think I'll get my foot into the glass slipper? You, you couldn't get your foot into the QE2. <laughs> uh, the old, um, the old uh, programs, uh, Ricky Fulton, Jack Mulroy, Fantastic. that stuff. Doesn't date, does it? It's it never ever did, and that's why we did Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash. And I would love yes. to have done it on Scottish television, you know. Oh, I, uh, remember, I remember that. That was great as well. Well, we used to go on. I mean, I've done so many STV New Year shows and um, Grampian television as well. Fantastic. I remember the director coming down to me. I was sitting having my lunch in the canteen at Grampian television. And he said, um, we'd, we'd recorded the Hogmanay show. And he comes down, he says, I've been trying to edit you out of some of the shots, but I'm struggling. <laughs> Such a big character. It was lovely. It was just great fun, you know. I mean, and lovely, lovely people. And we had, I'll tell you who we had. We had Andy Stewart. We had Bill McHugh. Uh, who else did we have? We had... Um, Oh, I'm I'm just trying to think. You remember we Larry Marshall? Yes, 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 Larry. Right. Fantastic. Right. He was he was great fun as well. You know that stuff. That that was the one o'clock gang. That yes, I th right. think it was Lord Hill, who'd been with the BBC, and um, he he was sitting there. Lord Hill. He'd been the BBC doctor. And uh, all that stuff. Anyway, he was the, by that stage Lord Hill, and he was sitting um, talking to the uh, chairman or the managing director of Scottish. He said, do you have any programs for us to watch? And they said, uh, yes, yes, come along after lunch, after lo Lobster Thermidor or whatever. He says, and, uh, and you can watch the one o'clock gang. And they started, and you know how popular they were. And apparently he turned to him, he said, how long have you been getting away with this? <laughs> they were very popular, Dorothy Paul. I can't remember the other two. I'm a wee bit young to... Well, you had uh, you had Jimmy Nairn, Nick Nairn's yeah. father, Big yeah. Jimmy, and you had... Uh, who else did we have in there? You had Dorothy Paul. You had Larry Marshall. You had... Um, I'm just trying to think. They were all on there. Another great guy who I, I loved was uh, Jack McLaughlin. Yep. Jack yeah. McLaughlin. Thingamajig. The thingamajig, yes. And they used to say... And waggle your wallies and all that. And they used to say the only thing that was rehearsed about thingamajig was the dancers. <laughs> well, we had a great phone in tonight, Scotty. A full gamut of all, uh, a lot of different people coming in. Uh, Oh, it's been a cracker tonight, Murray, and it was it was it was quite a good idea, I think, to pop back up because we were going good guns, you know. Well, I, I, I'd like to thank you. I've, I've bought a wee four wheel drive. It's, it's, a, it's a wee soft roader rather than a off roader. Oh, good so one, I, Murray. Yes, I didn't I like to I ask. About that a few weeks ago, so yes. I, I bought a wee Suzuki SX four. Nice. Yes, you'll I, like that. It's a wee cracker. Yes, um, they're great. You know, and and it, it's it's all to do with what suits you. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's a halfway here called Millis says you're better on radio. At least we don't need to see what you look like. Shall I <laughs> shall I bin them? Absolutely. I think I'll bin them. I'll bin them off. We'll send them down the Swanee, Millis. 
So, Millis, I would imagine you're no oil painting yourself, so we don't want to see what you look like. Confined to the bucket. There he's gone. He's in the bin. <laughs> Lifetime ban for being a half-wit. Smashing stuff. Murray, what a joy. I'm so glad you got that. And I, as I say again, I can't thank you for your kindness and your generosity. No more apology, Scotty. You know, we, we will get there. We will That's build this. And, and to, to, to get to the end goal, which uh, will be world domination. Of world, world domination of chit-chat. There's Freddie 23 says, Evening, Scotty. Hope you're well. Still great to hear your voice after all these years. So you see, you get uh, good people and less good people. Scotty, have you ever been to Port Mahomic? Uh, now that rings bells, but no. Sounds amazing. You're talking about being up in Tain and Alness. Yes, Just, yes. It's, it's to the east of that, out to the peninsula. There's... It's a smashing wee place. I, I used to, I used to go up to um, Burkhead and Hopeman every year. Burkhead um, and Hopeman, I know it well. I must have gone to Port Mahomet because I'm very well, often up there at Lossiemouth and Elgin. It's right over the the estuary. <coughs> so if you look, if you look, kind of. So Murray, if I went to Hopeman and looked across the Murray Firth, yes, you'd see Port Mahomet's lights at night time. Right. Right, I shall pay that a visit. There's, there's a great wee folk festival there every year. It's, it's worth going to. It's fantastic. It's, it's amazing. And you've got the Findhorn community. Hopeman is absolutely gorgeous. You know, I love all these places. And then when you get out to Jemimaville and uh, that sort of thing as well. I used to, used to um, take the kids up to... Port Soy and Cullen as well in Bucket. Uh, Port Soy. I remember opening a sale of work at Port Soy when I worked at Grampian Television. It was quite a run on a winter's day. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. You know, it was it was a fair old run out. And a very nice lady had actually come to Aberdeen to ask if I would go out to Port Soy and, uh, and do that because we used to do a lot of public engagements because you were reading the news on the telly, you know. And I know you don't you don't partake of the um, of the amber ale. Or, well, not or, now, not now. But I, I have done in my day. But if you go a wee bit inland uh, to the to the kind of space side whiskey trail, gorgeous. Part of the world that is gorgeous. Done it. I've done that and and passed the the distillery with the big famous names. Like Elke and Aberlour. Aberlour, uh, Glen Livet, uh, Glen Farkless, Craig and Moore. Beautiful. Absolutely. Wonderful. Great stuff. And I have partaken of these products in my time. I like to collect some of the, the, the these nice whiskies. They're, they're worth keeping a hold of. Oh, absolutely. If you like a nice, clear, clean whiskey, then your northeast, your Speysides. If you like smoky, peaty salty, then you've got these gorgeous West Coast ones as well. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, as an investment, I make more money than gold at the moment. Oh, yes. I mean, I, yes, I mean, collector's whiskey is fantastic. Absolutely. Ch changing hands. I told you about the, 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 the guy in the shop. Did I tell you that one about the American in the, in the whiskey shop? Well, I'll just I'll just remind you because it was very very funny. I just I'd just gone in to pick up a wee something for somebody, and uh, this American was in, and the guy in the shop was teaching him about malt whiskey. And the American says, "So, would there be a whiskey between that one and that one?" And the man in the shop goes, "There are thirty six whiskeys between that one and that one. Would you like me to name them all for you?" He said, "No, no, I, 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 I'll take your word for it." <laughs> I'll tell you what I did when I went to Yorkshire one night. It was very brave of me, but I said to the guy at the bar, "I said I could tell you what whiskey that is without knowing." And so suddenly, all these old Yorkshire farmers were around me in the pub. 
And uh, the guy says, uh, what's that? And I told him which one it was, you see? So then he hands me another one. He goes, what does he think that one tastes like? He says, well, he's not tasting them. He's smelling them. <laughs> and, and, and we got the only one we got. I said, that's a very far north that. That's Highland Park. And he went, it's actually not Scotty. There's one further north. Which is that? I don't know. <laughs> but that was it. And what he said to me afterwards, he said, no, no, feel free, just just have them. So I got something like half a dozen free top malt whiskeys. Excellent. But it had caused terrific amusement in the pub, as I say, all the Yorkshire farmers were around. So I suppose it was extra extra business, you know. Absolutely. Well, Scotty, it's uh, 10 to 12. So oh, like No! I need to go. Lovely, because otherwise I'll turn into a pumpkin and that can be sear. I'll go and pour myself a wee Highland Park. I think you should. I think you'd love that. A privilege and a pleasure talking to you as always. And dinky do, sir. You're a top man. Good man. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Murray. All the best. What a fine fellow. There we are. Thank you. Been very generous to Scotty McClure. There's a ghost trying to hot wire your metro, says Peter. It looks like a Land Rover, not a Metro. There we are, or a black cab. What is it behind me? No, it's a P38 Range Rover. It's not a black cab at all, if you're talking about the model. Scotty, have you ever gone to the Viking burning the ship display? That looks fantastic. That would be up hellia. Up hellia. Have I? Right. I used to live in a cottage which was 200 years old. Definitely strange things happened. I never saw anything. Well, you very often don't. I've never seen a ghost, but I've experienced one. There we are. Fantastic. Ed, well done. It's a Land Rover. That's right. Yes, indeed. So not a black cab, but a P38 Range Rover. And the detailing is amazing. If you look on the TikTok videos, you'll see a TikTok video of it. The detailing is outstanding. Quite outstanding. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you. Good evening, boss. Evening, Lord. Oh, George. George, I beg your pardon. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float eye, and we are live. Now, tomorrow night will be 10 o'clock sharp again. So I look forward to you joining me then. Tremendous stuff. There we go. Fantastic. I seen a ghost in your P38. I don't, you may have done, Peter, if you can see ghost. 10 p.m., 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow night, because tomorrow night's Saturday. And tonight I've posted it as part two. Follow us as soon as you can. I will be there. And uh, look at every single TikTok video. Get onto the YouTube channel. Subscribe and tap the bell. Follow me on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue, guys. Tremendous stuff. I'll be out tomorrow night, Scotty. Yeah, but Chian. Is it Chian or Kian? There we are. Do keep me right on that. My birthday is Halloween. Ah, Murray, excellent. I love Halloween. The one night of the year I don't have to dress up. <laughs> now, who have we got here? Did he wave to you, Peter? Absolutely, yes, indeed. What do you think about LGBTQ? I'm absolutely fine with LGBTQ, but I do think it should be LGBTQS to include straight people. And then you are all inclusive. And nobody can say that you're going against what you actually stand for. Are you doing panto this year? No, I don't have a panto. It's Kian. Kian, thank you. Kian O'Neill, what a lovely name. Thank you from Richard in Wigan. Richard Fowler, how lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, can we do a massive share? I've got 1,400 likes on the TikTok. Uh, there we go. Thank you. What do you think about abortion? Um, I don't particularly like the word. I tend to use termination of pregnancy. Hi, Henry VIII. Thank you, Joel. Lovely of you. It's been a great two hours, Scotty. Let's hope the same happens tomorrow. That would be nice, Nub to heat. We'll get that happening tomorrow. I'll give you a wee tune in the box to finish up tonight. How about that? Are we ready? <coughs> Right, Numpty, you get on the Muthy. 
Fantastic. This is what it's all about. Dears, thank you do I say to every single one of you from Scotty McClue. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us on what promises to be absolutely massive, the internet phone-in. And remember, you can say, I was there first in the early days when it started. So there we are. Uh, what are you all saying on the chat here? Brilliant, says Keith Sneddon. What an amazing two hours of Scotty. Best living radio joke of all time. You're very kind. <coughs> Numpty Head believes in fairies. Another wee extra half hour, sir, absolutely. Good night, as always. Brilliant, says Keith. Round of applause to Sir Take a bow. James Gibb, you're very kind. Great night. Thank you, Scotty. It's been nice chatting to you all. Keep safe and well. Sweet dreams, all fantastic tunes, Scotty. Night, night, dinky do la. Night, night, everyone. Two lovely big kisses. Keith says, thank you very much for the extra hour. Much appreciated. Professor Numpty, you got your teeth out for the Ruthie. Lovely, says Dave Deprave. Scott FM, loyal, says Peter Mack. Great show, Scotty. Well done, says Ebri. Hi, Scotty. Not been on here for a while, says Scottish Kev. How do we phone in? You need your own game show. We'll maybe have our own game show. Who knows? Good night, Scotty. Good night, Kian. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us and dinky-doo. Uh, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Share everything you possibly can with Scotty McClure on it across the internet. Join us tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp for more carry on. Scotty McClure says dinky doo to all of you. Good night to our lovely TikTokers. Peace, mate. And to you, Chris. Absolutely lovely. So that's time.